and people understand that, you know, you need interoperability between these things because let's say you, you, you mint an NFT over there on Ethereum, it's a board ape, but you want to use it in some type of DeFi protocol over there on Solana, right? So this is kind of the basic use case that you guys originally solved was interoperability between those two blockchains and how do they talk to each other and how could you use collateral or something that exists on one chain in an environment somewhere else that might be better suited versus what's available on the other. Is that kind of the, the gist of it? Absolutely. And fun anecdote, I think back in 2022, we actually had a ton of board apes and crypto punks being sent to different networks. There was at one point, there was someone who sent, had 50 punks and they even created a Twitter account for it and it made a whole thing of like punks on Solana. So that that's effectively it. And, and sometimes I even like to zoom out a bit too and think about interoperability as a concept, but where we've seen it in other industries. So we didn't invent this kind of long word here in crypto, right? So like uh, in interoperability, you know, a place, other places we see it is the banking system actually, right? So like you have all these banks, they're connected by SWIFT. SWIFT is like an accounting system, helps you wire money. In the US, we have all these different healthcare systems. Your data is in these silos and need, you need a way to kind of get data between the healthcare networks. A lot of um, health systems will use something like Epic, it's called, but like the ability to share patient information. We see it in, you know, transportation with city in cities and so on. And really all we've done is taken this concept and applied it to blockchains because originally, actually, when we first started out, a lot of people thought everything was going to be on one. It was the contrary thought at the time, actually, to, to do something where there's going to be multiple blockchains. And now, of course, we live in a multi-chain world and a lot of people know that. And so we've kind of found good product market fit because of it. No, I think you guys are super well positioned 